What do you know about drifting? Uh, I've drifted on a swimming pool on a rubber raft. <laughs> That's as much as I know about drifting. I don't have any any concept of how they keep the tires spinning as they go through and navigate the course that they're on. God dang, man, you talking about hauling ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! God dang it! Holy cow! I'm Steve. I'm Amanda. Nice to meet you. What's happening? How's I'm, it going? I'm Brandon. Steve. Nice to meet you. I had no idea that y'all would be hauling that much ass. <laughs> <laughs> At ages 20 and 18, Amanda and Brandon Sorensen are already a force in Formula Drift. Super skilled, very hard working kids who started when they were knee high to a grasshopper. Both of them learned the art of car control as car racers and then moved on to drifting. I'm one of two females in the United States with my pro drift license. Yeah. And Brandon is the youngest licensed pro drifter in the United States. Well, how'd you pull that off? Oh, uh, well, you know, I got my pro license when I was 14. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a car fan my entire life, but I've never really understood the drifting concept. What are you doing just to keep the burnout going? Well, it definitely helps that we have 1,200 horsepower under the hood of these cars. Oh, wow. When you're at a competition, like, what's the goal? To get through a course in the fastest time? Essentially, it's like figure skating with cars, right? You do two at a time, one lead, and then one follow. As the chase driver, the whole goal is to get as close as you possibly can. And then the lead driver, they give you like certain points on the track that they want you to hit, where you can slow down, speed up. And so you have three judges that judge the entire thing. They basically give you a criteria and tell you to do that, and whoever does it best wins. What's the fan base for, for this type of activity? So uh, drifting is the number one millennial motorsport. There you go. They just love the action of two cars going sideways. There's no room for error with the type of competition that we do. Well, hell, man, we're talking about it. What about doing something? Yeah, you ready to jump in the car and see what it's like? Who am I riding with? Uh, you'll probably jump in the car with me, and uh, you know we'll leave some marks on Amanda's doors. And they're about to take me to school. That's going to be a great <laughs> day at the office. Let's rock and roll, man. I'm ready. Step it in. How you feeling? I feel like I'm in a sardine can. If we uh, lay this thing sideways and catch on fire, yeah. I'm out of here. I wasn't planning on being barbecue today. All right, let's get this thing started. 1,000 horsepower. I'm in the drift car. I'm cinched up about as tight as you can get cinched up. There you go. And all of a sudden, Brandon pops the clutch, and we're hauling ass. <laughs> Brandon are playing chase, and we're literally three to four inches away from each other. I can reach out and touch that car. It's the thrill of a lifetime. I'm watching everything Brandon does because it's so loud in the car, I can't really hear it. So I'm just trying to take notes as Brandon is going through the paces, and every now and then he'll touch that handbrake. This is high speed, high precision driving at its finest by two kids that are only 20 and 18. It's purely amazing. All right, we're gonna do a quick wall ride real quick. Go do that? I don't even know what we just did. <laughs>
I don't even know how to describe what I just experienced. You guys were that far from each other. Yeah, we. I think we touched her a little bit at one point. Holy just cow. Just a little tap. Dude, you talk about insanity. A little more intense than you were expecting? Dude, that was way more intense than what I was expecting. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. How was young it? Young lady, amazing driving young man. Thank you. I felt like I just drank a gallon of coffee. <laughs> Dude, what a rush. You ready to jump in the driver's seat and kill some tires? I'll give it hell. Sick, let's do this thing. All right. You gonna fit? It's a lot tighter over here than it was over there. <laughs> Brandon puts on the display of lifetime and says, are you ready? I don't think I was, because I've never drifted before. I don't know whether the I'll wind my watch. Crank it up. Water pump. I pride myself on being able to drive anything on wheels. Throw it in first gear. Yep, there you go. And uh, slowly let the clutch out. I get ready to take off. I pop the clutch. There you go. Oh, oh. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> and kill the motor. OK, good man, got it. Round two, round two. Clutch in, first gear. And I start the car and pop a clutch. There you go. Got a big ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And kill the motor. I did that about four or five times. <laughs> And I know how to drive a stick. Okay. Have you ever driven a manual? I know how to drive a manual, young lady. <laughs> Last time. <laughs> the most embarrassing day of my life. Watch out, dog. Rev it up, rev it up. Once I got it going, I was doing OK. We're just going to try and slow down a little bit, push the clutch in, go hard left, rev it up, drop the clutch. Rev it up, rev it up. So when the cars tend to spin out, if you're not quick enough on getting on the clutch, then the car is going to die. We're going to do a tight donut around the coat. Copy that. Rev it up and drop the clutch. Let go of the steering wheel. Push the clutch in, push the clutch. <laughs> My feet are so <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness, why are we close to a wall? Push the clutch in, push the clutch in. <laughs> Boy, this is hard. It is, it is very difficult. And now jump it and drive, but don't forget to let go, let go of the steering wheel. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Just the hang of it. Yeah. I think he's starting to understand that these cars, if you don't use proper technique, the car starts to drive itself instead of you driving the car. There's a lot of things going on in that driver's seat that you can't comprehend with as little seat time as I had. I took this job to put myself in situations that really I'm quite uncomfortable in, but I need reps. 
This is number one on my cool factor list. <laughs> I, I can say that. Yeah. That's, that's the honest to God truth. I, I need a cold beer after doing that. <laughs> Hell yeah. I still got three years, but hey. <laughs>